But I think I think Mark articulated so well the frustration with the Governor Douglas's administration that <clears throat> with issues with the schools and, and the proposal, which is a huge proposal of moving the state teacher's retirement from the general fund to the ed fund, that is not something that's going to be decided in several months. And, um, and certainly this, this awful economic times that we were in comes as no surprise either. So the election was November 5th, and from the 6th of November on, I don't believe he had conversations with any of the stakeholders in the education community about these very dramatic things that he has proposed. So he doesn't seem, I think Mark said it well, he throws out these ideas. I often think we might be more effective if he would come forward and have some of these discussions beforehand and see what can we do working collaboratively for some solutions. What have you observed, Keisha? Well, I was just going to say, um, uh, I see all of this on a very micro level. I mean, you know, folks who've been here for a while mm -hmm. have observed time and time again the patterns that occur. Um, but it's been interesting for me to see the surprise from the agencies that come in to talk to us in my committee. Um, the Mobile Home Project, which shares a building with you, just just found out it, it had lost all of its state funding. Um, and the first thing they did was email us and say, you know, what's happening? Um, and we, we hadn't been made aware of that. Um, they were very taken by surprise. And you, they work with 8% of Vermonters who live in mobile homes, and they're the only advocacy group that does that. Uh, Vermont Housing and Conservation Board losing 100% right. of its, its funding for its agricultural and farmland and conservation, um, and 75% of its, its funding for right, creating housing. housing. So, you know, for, for me, when I hear this, it's helpful to know that someone else can say it. Um, but, you know, this, that's what I'm seeing on this very small level in my committee is how could this just move forward without deeper conversations, without understanding how this is going to affect our communities and our state. And uh, I think Mark really said it best. Well, mobile homes are an important part of affordable housing in Vermont. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go to energy now. We have. Uh, Vermont uh, legislature uh, will be addressing the relicensing of Vermont Yankee, which is sort of a unique position. Vermont's the only state that um, the legislature actually um, has a decision-making role in the relicensing. Um, Vermont Yankee's license is up in 2012, and Entergy, the company that um, runs Vermont Yankee, a Louisiana-based company, they are requesting a 20-year renewal, which is the standard uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission renewal um, timeline. There are ma many questions about the safety and reliability of Vermont Yankee. Um, do you feel, A, what's your thoughts on Vermont, Vermont Yankee, um, based on the fact that it is currently about a third of our uh, mm -hmm. internal uh, <clears throat> source of energy in the power grid in Vermont? Um, and um, and the re the reliability and um, and also working with getting renewable um, other sources. Um, why don't we start with Keisha on that? Start with the new. Oh, I guess. <laughs> and, and do you think that the vote will happen in the session? Hmm. Um, I can speak. I can speak to some of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm um, still still learning a lot. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, I just wait for decisions to get handed down because clearly these folks are much higher up in the totem pole of leadership. Um, I, I have my own personal concerns about the plant um, and its, its reliability for the state. Um, I, I'm really excited to see what's coming out of the Natural Resources Committee because I've seen a lot of mm -hmm. good ideas go into their committee on increasing renewable energy, making it uh, creating more incentives for, for wind generation, mm -hmm. um, for geothermal, for all sorts of new projects. Bernie Sanders was just named the Green Job Czar for, on the federal level, so it would be a shame if we weren't putting that designation to good use here in the state and ensuring that we're creating new economic opportunities to help transition people out of Vermont Yankee um, and help give our ratepayers a much more stable source of energy mm -hmm. to be paying for. Um, and I, th you know, I think we're we're moving in that direction. Certainly, I don't know um, the specifics about the, when the decision will occur, um, but I think I, I trust my peers on the Natural Resource Committee and in other other uh, positions of leadership to be asking the right questions and the tough questions and really ensuring that we'll be making the right decisions. What 